Hi, I'm Laura Vandervoort for PETA. It was important to me to be involved in the anti-captivity campaign because I had seen the movie Blackfish. And not only did it make me cry, and, and I just became so overwhelmed with what I was learning about SeaWorld, things that society really had no idea about that they were sort of enlightening us with, um, but it impacted me in a way that I wanted to do something, and I wanted to help. Today for PETA, um, we wanted to express the, uh, the confinement and, and the torture and the agony and the anxiety that the orcas go through in a tank for them the size of a tub. Normally orcas have to swim, you know, 100 miles a day. It's their normal life. They're not with their normal family environments. Usually orcas stay with their families for life. There's usually 2 to 15 in a family. They speak the same language. Different regions have different languages. In captivity, it's animals from all different regions. So not only do they not speak the same language, but they don't interact, they fight, they hurt each other. They're just not meant to be in, in that tank together. There's no space. Orcas have killed in captivity, and not in the wild to record, purely in captivity because they're stressed out. They have anxiety. They're very aware of themselves and in the world that they're in, and have the emotions that we have even heightened. So we're treating them like they're just an animal for our entertainment value. We all think he's having fun jumping around, doing these tricks. In reality, he's a slave. He's forced into it. He's bred over and over again, and then he's abused. It's a beautiful, intelligent animal to just entertain us and be depressed for the rest of its life. I really think that we need to boycott SeaWorld educate ourselves and just appreciate the beauty of them and the majestic quality in the wild and not ed educate your children to think it's okay to make these animals jump for you. I'm Laura Vandervoort. Please, boycott SeaWorld.